what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this is my spoiler free review for orphan first kill orphan first kill is supposed to come out later this week i believe um the embargo is lifted so i'll be posting this review right now and this is again the prequel to the 2009 i would say cult hit horror movie orphan i love that movie to death uh this prequel is again starring isabel Furman back in the role as um esther no i didn't stutter yes she is back for those of you who are not keeping up with this isabel Furman is back as esther you have julia styles in this movie as well Rosef sutherland and a few other individuals this is being directed by william brent bell uh it's written by david kagishal and it is following esther and their terrifying saga or her terrifying saga i'll say continuing in this chilling prequel to the original shocking horror hit orphan after orchestrating a brilliant escape from an estonian psychiatric facility esther travels to america by impersonating the missing daughter of a wealthy family yet an unexpected twist arises that pits her against a mother who will protect her family from the murderous child at any cost now julia styles is starring as trisha albright uh, Rosef Sutherland stars as Alan Albright, the patriarch of the family. Matthew Finland stars as Gunnar Albright, the son in this family. And we have Morgan Giridot as James Clammer and again, some other individuals. Now, honestly, my take on Orphan vs. Kill is that the strongest asset is Isabel Furman back in the role as Esther. The different techniques used to sell this are very impressive to me, and I bought that aspect of the story wholeheartedly and completely. Uh, the reliance on practical effects more than overusing CGI is always great, and I'm sure that it was also a, a treat for Furman to just jump back into this role that I know many people identify her with. Uh, you know, like trying to recapture that childhood innocence again because she's delivering yet another great performance as Esther. Uh, I was really blown away by her the most. And I'd also say that this is more along the lines, I guess, of what what was trying to be depicted anyway in 2009. Since back then, what we were expected to believe is that this child was actually a 30 year old individual. It's more believable now that twist in that narrative they want to spin on us now, considering that she's in her 20s now. So. And I don't want to say that her co-stars are bad or anything, but this pre prequel just allowed Furman to do a lot more as Esther. Something I know a lot of you will appreciate as fans of the original movie. Several events that were mentioned in that movie, the original, like her escape from the asylum, how she ended up in America, uh, all of that get depicted here, of course. And the events that, of course, lead up to her being in the orphanage we see her in at, in that original movie uh, with with Tysa Farmiga. No, I think it was Vera Farmiga that was in the movie. Vera Farmiga. However, and anyone can correct me if I'm wrong after seeing this as well, but I'm certain there's like an inconsistency regarding the Albrights and the last family Esther was with, as we heard in the original movie, like the Sullivans or something. Uh, the script again allows us to see Esther's manipulation on display more heavily this time around, such as with a guard who I guess had an attraction to her. That was probably one of the most ickiest aspects of this movie for me. Now, if I've talked too much about Esther, that's because she's the only true highlight. Orphan First Kill lacks heavily in the suspense department and tension, whereas I felt the original was drenched in both of those. It also doesn't help that the script provides you with a house full of unlikable characters. Well, and, and if you're wondering, well, aren't they our protagonists? Yes, they are. Julia Stiles' character of Trisha Albright and her entire family are the protagonists until the movie tries to recreate the magic from the original. What do I mean there? Okay, so first let me explain the Albrights a little bit. The Albrights have a missing daughter, and as shown in the trailers, Esther is filling the role after they have a quote unquote, after they have quote unquote found the girl, who we know is not her. Trisha's husband, Alan, is written just as mindless as the father from the original, but you're expected to feel sorry for him due to his daughter's disappearance and sudden return four years later so again in the original we find out esther is a grown woman and it's a slow build to that moment that shocked many viewers orphan first kill attempts to throw in a very unexpected twist to kind of recreate that something that can't even be picked up on in the trailers and it just doesn't work but i will give them props for the fact that again if you watch the trailers you're not going to pick up on this you're you trust me you're not it's not that it doesn't make sense or that it isn't shocking i can admit it did rationalize certain behaviors from early in the movie but it just erases anyone to root for it becomes a game of who is crazier and at least there are some solid performances that are being done to make this very entertaining the cinematography is okay and again i honestly will say the highlight of it was the work done to sell you on Furman being a kid again there's also a cool soundtrack this time around but i really think the twist killed the movie 
I really do think that twist killed the movie. When you see what it is, I think many of you will be on my side. Some of you will disagree, of course. The movie is still fun. I still liked it overall. That twist really was a killer, though. It, The movie already didn't feel very dramatic. It didn't have any real tension to it. Um, it wasn't very... Like something was just missing. The overall direction was not hitting it in ways that I, I wanted it to. Uh, I I had fun watching the movie. It just wasn't it wasn't all that cracked up to be anything we needed. It was just again something nice to see because again as a fan of the original, I I don't mind that this exists. It just also proved that we really didn't need it with with what they do in between in this narrative. Uh, the performances again outside of Furman herself, I would say they're pretty solid and I'd say subpar. Honestly, I've seen Julia Stiles do better, better work. I love her and Save the Last Dance and some of her other projects. But here she I felt she was very dry. <laughs> uh, also, the characters outside of Esther, they're very underdeveloped as far as like anything we learn about them outside of what factors into this twist, which tells us a little bit of their traits and again, just makes them very unlikable characters. So there's really nobody left to root for by the time this twist comes in. And again, you'll see what I'm talking about by the time you get done watching this movie. The overall direction, not a fan of it. I was just mostly a fan of Isabel Furman's performance and the cinematography techniques and the techniques used to also make her look like she's eight years old again or that she's this kid again uh the lighting and of course the use of i would assume body doubles all of that stuff using kid stars of uh, minimal cgi that was like the biggest highlight of this movie and isabel Furman herself just back in the role there is a lot of good gore moments sure for those of you who are looking for some good gore you have that in here but orphan first kill really did need to exist it did not uh, I honestly would give it a 6 out of 10 and maybe I'm being too generous with it there. there the, the twist really just killed it a lot because it was lacking already in other departments. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.